Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about the cost of living in the Netherlands so you have an idea on the amount of expenses you should expect when moving to the Netherlands. Throughout the video I will be talking about the costs in euros but in the video I will put the conversion to US dollars. Firstly, the fixed costs and I will start with the housing costs as this is usually the biggest expense that one has. Either you buy it or rent a house. For some context, it is quite difficult to find a place to live in the Netherlands so my recommendation is to get a house or get a place to live before moving if possible. Regarding buying a house, I will share with you the conclusion of a study that Statista published in May 2023 regarding the average price of an apartment in the third quarter of 2022. As you can see in this graph that shows the cost in euros per square meter, the five biggest Dutch cities were considered in the study. We see that in 2022, the average price per square meter in Amsterdam was 8,250 euros. If we compare Amsterdam with other European cities, in Amsterdam you pay an average 460 euros more per square meter than in Stockholm. While comparing with cities like Oslo, Copenhagen, Vienna and Hamburg, Amsterdam is on average from 1,330 to almost 1,800 euros per square meter more expensive. For me, it is also interesting to compare with Lisbon, as in Amsterdam, we pay 3,250 euros per square meter more. In this table, you can also see what an 80 square meter apartment could cost on average in each one of these cities. An 80 square meter apartment in Amsterdam can be 37% more expensive than the same apartment in Utrecht. But these figures are from last year. In the meantime, in 2023, it seems that the housing prices have been changing. According to CBS Statistics Netherlands, the housing prices decreased 5.6% in May 2023 in existing properties in the Netherlands compared with May 2022. For those who need to request a loan to the bank, I think it is also interesting to see how the interest rate in new mortgages by Dutch banks to households has been evolving. And to provide an indication on the interest rate to expect, I'm sharing here a graph from the National Bank of the Netherlands that shows the evolution of the interest rates with a fixed rate period. As of January 2022, these rates have been increasing. For example, a rate fixed from 5 years until 10 years registered an increase from 1.39% in January 2022 to 3.87% in April 2023. I already made a video where I talk about the process of purchasing a property in the Netherlands and in this video I also share some links where you can simulate the monthly mortgage payments and in addition I talk about extra costs that you might consider when purchasing a home. Regarding renting a house, I will focus on the prices of renting a house in the main cities of the Netherlands. Perarius, a website for rental apartments, releases each quarter the average price to rent an apartment. The trend observed is that in the first quarter of 2023, the prices of rental apartments rose when compared with 2022. For example, in the first quarter of 2023, the average price of rental apartments in Amsterdam was €25.86 per square meter, 5.8% more compared with 2022. In Utrecht, a similar trend was observed. The average price of rental apartments is €19.83, in The Hague, 18 euros and 19 cents, and in Rotterdam, 17 euros and 91 cents. This is the average of the whole market in these cities. Exemplifying for one bedroom upholstered apartments on an apartment with curtains and floor. Maybe it's good to mention that in the Netherlands it's quite common to rent apartments that don't have a floor, so you have to bring or pay for your own floor. So for this type of apartment with 55 square meters in Amsterdam, you should expect prices to be between 1,600 euros until 2,000 euros. And these prices are rising to the high demand, where in the past the advertised price was usually the, the rental price, now there is an increasing trend that the advertised price or the listed price is actually the starting price of a bidding process, a similar bidding process of the buying market. So for example, the listed price might say 1,500 euros for the apartment, but then the bid process will increase the price until 1,700 euros. In neighborhoods outside of the city center of Amsterdam, with the same dimension, so 55 square meters, you can expect a price around 1,500 euros. You 
Utrecht is the second most expensive city to live and it's about 20 minutes by train from Amsterdam. You should expect prices to be between 1,300 euros to 1,700 euros. So a little bit less expensive when compared with Amsterdam. In other big cities such as The Hague and Rotterdam, for an apartment with 55 square meters, you can expect prices to range between 1,200 euros to 1,400 euros per month. Regarding renting apartments, the prices that are listed sometimes can be a listing price without service fees. Service fees are usually fees to cover for cleaning of the communal spaces of the building. Usually these fees can range between 50 euros to 100 euros per month and it's not allowed to profit from service fees so you should not expect a very high amount regarding this. Moving on to the municipality taxes. Every resident in the Netherlands has to pay for local taxes. These taxes are called Gemeentelijk Belastingen in Dutch and they are collected by the municipality. This bill is usually sent in the first two weeks of February concerning the full year. These taxes include the pickup of the garbage, clean water, and then if you own a property, they also include the sewer charge and the property tax. And the property tax is a fixed percentage of the official listed value of the property. For example, the property owner tax for residency in Amsterdam is 0.0431%, of the official listed value. So for a house valued at 400,000 euros, the property tax that you have to pay for a given year is about 172 euros. And these taxes differ per municipality and also on the number of people living in the house. In order to know how much municipality taxes you are expected to pay, my recommendation is to contact the municipality. However, if you want to have an indication, CBS Netherlands Statistics shares that about 687 euros are budgeted for municipality taxes in 2023 per inhabitant. Now regarding groceries, according to NIBUD, the National Foundation for Budgeted Information, the minimum estimate of costs in groceries per day is between 7 to 8 euros. And this will result in about 250 euros per month per person on groceries. This number is based in an estimate of a food package that contains amounts of products needed on average for someone to stay healthy. This number of course depends on your lifestyle and also to which supermarket you go. You usually have different supermarket chains so my recommendation is to try different supermarkets and see which ones provide you with the best prices, with the best quality of food and of course with the best service. And I found a study made by the Consumenta Bond where they rank what are the most expensive and the cheaper supermarket chains and they conclude that Spar is the most expensive supermarket in the Netherlands while Dirk is the cheapest supermarket in the Netherlands. In this table you can see which chains have lower and higher prices compared with the average Dutch market. The average prices correspond to what the market leaders charge for their goods. Moving on to utilities such as electricity, gas and water. In the Netherlands, you sometimes do not have the option to choose which provider you want. And some cases, not all providers are available in one location. You have to check online which providers are available in your address. The total price per month will depend in a lot of factors such as your lifestyle, the amount of people living in the house and also how well isolated your house is. In the Netherlands, there is what is called an energy label and this energy label categorizes the sustainability of a home from G, which is the worst sustainable type of house, to a A with four pluses type of house. Let's say that a house with an energy label A is probably a house that is well isolated. It has solar panels, it has double or triple glass, and a house that uses electricity for heating. While a house with an energy label G is probably a house that is not isolated, that has single glass and uses gas for heating, and it does not have solar panels. The higher the energy label of the house, the more sustainable and the less you will pay in the end. So I always recommend when you are looking for a house to buy or to rent, check the energy label of the house and then you will see if this will be beneficial or not for you at the end of the month. It is also important to mention that the Dutch government capped the prices for electricity and gas for 2023. These are the maximum tariffs for energy up to a certain level. On average, I would expect to spend between 100 to 
to 200 euros per month and in the first year of contract with your provider you can get some discounts. I will link below in the description some websites where you can make price comparisons between the different providers. Regarding the cost of water, according to a study published by Statista in April 2023, in 2023, the cost of drinking water ranged between 1 euro and 28 cents to 2 euros and 24 cents per cubic meter. According to the drinking water company Rittens, the biggest water supplier in the Netherlands, an average household of four people consumes on average 163 cubic meters per year. This is a range of 209 to 365 euros per year, hence 70 to 30 euros per month. Regarding internet and TV, the prices will depend on your provider, the speed of the internet you want, how many channels you want to watch. And as I mentioned before, the availability of providers will differ per location. There are multiple websites where you can compare the prices and the packages of the different providers and I'll put all of them in the description below. I would say that prices usually start at 50 euros and can go up to 100 euros. On average, you can find good TV and internet with about 65 euros per month. And similar to the utility providers, the internet and TV providers usually also provide discounts in the first year of the contract. On top of the usual TV and internet package, you also have subscriptions for streaming services and usually these subscriptions range between 10 to 15 euros per subscription. Regarding a mobile phone, the cost for a SIM card usually start at 10 euros per month, but it can go up to 50 euros per month, depending on the amount of gigas and minutes to call you want to have in your package. I believe that for 20 or 25 euros, you can get a very good package. Regarding health insurance, I already talked about this topic in one of my earlier videos, but here I'll just leave a small summary. You should expect to pay around 100 euros for a basic health insurance package. With basic insurance, you have compulsory deductible, and usually this amount is what is called amount at your own risk. So it's the amount that you have to pay before the health insurance starts reimbursing for your health costs. Usually this amount at your own risk ranges between 385 euros to 885 euros. The more you have at your own risk, the less you will have to pay on a monthly basis to your health insurance provider. If you need to go to the GP doctor, to the general practitioner doctor, this cost will be reimbursed by the health insurance and you will not have to advance yourself an amount from your own risk. But if you are going to a more specific doctor, for example, a dermatologist, then those costs will have to be covered by you through your own risk amount. Now regarding transport and commuting, if you are living and working in the same city, the Dutch way to commute is usually by bike. In this video, I talk about the prices of buying and renting bikes. But if you feel like cycling is not for you or it's not possible for you, the Dutch public network system is very good. For a bus ride or a tram ride or a subway ride, you can expect a one-way ticket to be between 2 to 4 euros. The train tickets are more expensive. For example, with a trip between Utrecht and Amsterdam, which is usually 20 minutes by train, expect to pay around 8 euros and 80 cents. And of course, if you have a return trip, this will be almost 20 euros. In the ns.nl website, you can find a lot of subscriptions that give you access to unlimited traveling or discounts. So it's good to give a look if you are expecting to travel a lot by public transport. Sometimes a company can give a benefit to cover for the commuting expenses. So it's also good to check if this is included in the benefits package of your job. If you would like to have a car in the Netherlands, you should take into account the costs of taxes, maintenance, periodic inspection, gas and parking. These prices will depend of course on several factors, for example the insurance of the car will depend on the age of the owner of the car. It will also depend on the weight of the car, the type of car, the fuel that the car has and in which province you are located. Owning a car in the Netherlands is very expensive. According to the car cost index of 2022 from Lease Plan, Netherlands is the third most expensive country out of 22 countries to own a car. Gas prices are somewhere between 1 euro and 80 to 2 euros per liter. And if you need a place to park your car, you can expect prices to go up to 200 euros per month. If you want to subscribe to a gym, this will also be considered a fixed cost. In the Netherlands, you have 
so many different types of jeans with a wide range of prices but you can find for example basic fit where i believe the subscription starts at 19.99 euros per month and you can go to other chains such as train more where subscriptions start at 35 euros per month and then of course you have other gyms where subscriptions can go up to 100 euros per month i believe that with prices around 45 euros per month you can find a good gym now let's look at an example of the fixed cost of one person living in amsterdam without a car regarding rent let's consider that this person lives in a 55 square meter apartment in amsterdam so about 1700 euros to rent regarding the municipality taxes these are paid once a year but to capture its effect on the expenses of this person i'm including as a monthly cost so let's consider about 300 euros of municipality taxes which translates into 25 euros per month regarding groceries about 250 euros per month gas and electricity 100 euros per month water 20 euros internet and tv 65 euros per month phone 25 health insurance 120 euros public transport let's consider one of the ns subscriptions that is called weekend free so 35 euros per month and finally a gym subscription of 35 euros per month this totals a fixed cost amount of 2,370 euros per month. Besides the fixed costs, of course, you will also have variable costs. And the first that I'll be mentioning are the costs in cafes, restaurants and bars. These costs will depend a lot on your lifestyle. It will depend where you live, to the type of place you are going. But I would expect to pay around 3 euros for a coffee, 6 euros for a glass of wine and 10 to 15 euros for a cocktail. A meal in a more modest restaurant can cost between 15 to 25 euros per person and then you will get a pizza or a salad or a burger. In an average restaurant, I would expect to pay between 40 to 50 euros per person. This is just more or less of an average based on my experience. Regarding clothing, I find clothing in the Netherlands more expensive than in other places. For example, if we look at the Inditex group brands such as Zara or H&M, Mango, I usually find the prices in the Netherlands to be between 10 to 20 euros more expensive when compared with Portugal. You can find the price of several items in the website Numbeo, which has a free database of user contributed data, especially on cost of living. And by looking at the majority of the prices, I quite agree with the ranges provided. Their dresser expect to pay 30 euros for a man's haircut and about 40 to 45 euros for a woman's haircut and this again will differ substantially on the type of place you are going in which city you are going to cut your hair and even on the length of your hair regarding leisure activities expect to pay around 20 euros to go to a museum even though you can purchase the museum card which costs about 65 euros per year and you have access to several exhibitions and museums across the netherlands Tickets to cinema usually start at 12 euros per person. Well, I hope this video gives you an idea of the cost of living in the Netherlands. I am quite curious to know if you live in the Netherlands, if the ranges that I provided are familiar to your own case. And if you live outside the Netherlands, how does the cost of living of the country where you live compares with the cost of living on the Netherlands? Please feel free to share your experience in the comment section below. And if you have any tips on how to save money in the Netherlands, please feel free free to share with the rest of the community. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.